So a fat burner is really a thing? Lean Bean sent me their much hyped female fat burner so I could make up my own mind. And I gotta say, when I got this product, all I could think was, you can't just take a pill and lose fat. That's not how these things work, right? Then I spoke to someone who said this pill did help her lose weight. In fact, it was more than 18 pounds of weight in two months. I actually went down two kilos in two weeks and I dropped down two sizes in my dress size because of um, the work I've been doing. So what is up with fat burners? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about who Lean Bean is for, what it might do, what it definitely doesn't do, and we're going to learn the other side of this woman's story. So first off, let's address one of the elephants in the room. This is very clearly marketed as a women's fat burner. On the front, it says the female fat burner. On the side, it says it has a powerful female formula. Let's talk about what that means. Now, when you go to Lean Bean's website, they say that they have a female formula because, quote, women may find it harder to suppress their appetite than men. Therefore, fat burners aimed at women should focus a bit more on appetite suppression than your standard fat burners that can be used by men or women. And if you look at the research, there is some evidence to support that claim. Some researchers suggest that it could be because of a hormone involved in ovulation called gonadotropin releasing hormone or GNRH. And this hormone may be sensitive to environmental factors and like disruptions in schedule. Now men have this hormone as well, but because in women it is linked to ovulation, which is a process that typically follows cycles and schedules, it is possible that because this hormone is sensitive to disruptions in schedule and environmental factors, that women may have a harder time with big environmental changes and changes to their routine like skipping meals or calorie restriction. That's a potential explanation for why women could perhaps have a harder time with cravings and meal skipping than men do. In other words, cycles and routines are a little bit more intrinsic to the functioning of a woman's body than men, so the body is a little bit more resistant to disruptions in that schedule like calorie restriction and skipping meals. Now, by no means is that saying that women are more delicate than men or anything like that, it's just that the different sexes have different challenges in the weight loss process. It's all a little bit complicated, but you can just Google barbend and best fat burners where we dig a little bit deeper into that science. So anyway, Lean Bean has a big focus on appetite suppression. So what makes it so effective at appetite suppression? So let's have a quick look at some of these ingredients. So the first one that we really wanna talk about here is called glucomannan. And there are 500 milligrams of glucomannan in a four capsule serving of Lean Bean, which you're meant to have throughout the day. Like, you know, one pill every few hours, something like that. So glucomannan is a thickener and gelling agent made from the root of the Japanese konjac tree. And in Japanese, they have a nickname for it. They call it the broom of the intestines, which might give you a bit of a sense of what it actually does. It uh, thickens and expands in your stomach. So it just helps to make you feel more full. I mean, at least that's what a lot of research suggests. One thing it is important to drink plenty of water with this because it does like suck up a lot of fluid and stuff in your belly and your intestines but so long as you're drinking plenty of water it appears there are pretty low side effects to this and it does appear to do a pretty good job at suppressing the appetite at least that's according to a couple of the studies i've seen one actually found that when you take two doses of 500 milligrams per day a group of obese people lost more weight than a control group and that was without any other lifestyle changes whatsoever that is twice the amount that you would get in a day of taking lean bean but there are some other interesting ingredients here at play there's some cayenne pepper in here as well which is a super popular ingredient in fat burners and some studies have linked it to a reduction in appetite and that's true of a bunch of other ingredients here as well there's some green tea as well which could interact with dopamine and norepinephrine and thereby help to suppress your appetite. There's also Garcinia cambogia here, which has a good reputation for appetite suppression because it might interact with your serotonin. Now, I do really need to make it clear that it's not like 100% of scientists are all in agreement with these alleged effects, particularly Garcinia cambogia. There is more than one study that suggests it just doesn't really do anything at all. Nonetheless, there's a pretty promising body of evidence supporting everything in here. And by that, I mean, even if it's possible that some of these are not as beneficial as a lot of people feel it is, there's still enough ingredients here linked to appetite suppression, particularly glucomannan, which has a really strong case for it, that it could indeed potentially be used as an effective appetite suppressant. And we're gonna learn more from that in our interview a bit later on in this video. But what about fat loss? Lean Bean's commercial says it has a bunch of ingredients that are meant to get your metabolism moving. And you know, there are a lot of fat burners out there that aren't just meant to help suppress your appetite. 
They're meant to help you, you know, burn more fat. Cayenne pepper in particular is a really popular ingredient for that. So what's the evidence behind that? There are indeed some studies that have shown an increased metabolic rate from consuming cayenne pepper. It might not be quite as much as you're thinking about though. For instance, there was a 2003 study that found people taking a chili pepper extract burned 12% more calories in a 30 minute period than a control group. So if you're burning 2000 calories a day, that's an extra five calories. So it's not a ton. And then there was another study that found that people having a chili pepper extract on average, they burned about 50 more calories throughout the day, which is less than half a tablespoon of olive oil. It's not like there's no chance of any extra fat burning happening, but again, it may not turn you into that fat torching furnace that you're envisioning. And then there's Garcinia cambogia, which in addition to those potential appetite suppression effects that I mentioned earlier, there are indeed some studies that have linked it to a reduction in visceral fat, like belly fat, which is, you know, a magic word for people looking to lose weight. They're always looking to lose belly fat. There was like a pretty popular study on obese patients uh, that showed that over 12 weeks, this is a Japanese study, patients did lose a significant amount of fat, which doesn't mean like a huge amount, but more like a measurable effect. And that's not the only study that has shown that. However, in most of those studies that have shown a big reduction or significant reduction, at least in belly fat, patients have been taking a thousand milligrams per day of the active ingredient in this. In lean bean, in a day, you're going to get 90 milligrams of the active ingredient. So it's not exactly going to line up perfectly with these studies. And these studies didn't exactly show pounds and pounds and pounds of fat loss either, but there could potentially be a cumulative effect, at least with all the other ingredients in here as well. Finally, I want to talk about another really popular ingredient in this product called raspberry ketones. Now, there's a lot of hype around raspberry ketones. There are a ton of raspberry ketone supplements out there. Again, because of this idea that they help you to torch more fat. There are some studies that have shown this, but there aren't really many good human ones. There are some in vitro studies and there are quite a few on rodents, but the ones on rodents that have shown a significant effect have been showing up with like really large amounts, like based on body weight, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times the amount that you would get in a serving of lean beans. So I don't think there's really a ton of evidence to suggest that raspberry ketones are gonna have a significant effect on your fat loss either. But let's forget about all the science and the studies and all that noise for just a minute. What happens if you actually take this product? What are the real world effects? Well, I spoke to Margarita Wen. She's a chaplain based in Melbourne, Australia, who told me that lean bean helped her to gradually lose her pregnancy weight, which is like a pretty good testimonial for the product, right? But I had a feeling there might be a little bit more to it than just like popping a pill. So I sat her down and had a chat with her about the effects. Now, before she started taking lean bean, she made sure she went to the doctor to get some blood tests and make sure everything was going to be fine with her hypothyroidism. And it's actually a really good idea, even if you do not have any pre-existing conditions, I do strongly urge you if you're going to take a fat burner or really just make any changes in your health routine, it's a really good idea to see a doctor first. But once she was given all the all clear, she had this to say. So in about two weeks time of intermittent fasting, I did the 16 a and lean bean and thyroxine, I actually went down two kilos in two weeks and I dropped down two sizes in my dress size because of um, the work I've been doing. And it wasn't full crazy hard out gymming, doing all that crazy stuff. I was just doing those um, interval running um, exercises on the treadmill. So you do that for about 20 minutes, you run for about 30 seconds and you rest for a minute. 30, run really hard for 30 seconds and rest for a minute. So that's what I was doing. Now during this weight loss period, Margarita was eating 1200 calories per day. And she did tell me that she only started restricting her calories down to 1200 and she only started fasting once she began taking lean bean. Now skeptics might hear that and say, well, it was probably just the calorie restriction that helped her lose weight and not lean bean. But that doesn't necessarily mean it would have been easy if she didn't have the supplement at all. Here's how she put it. The intermittent fasting could only happen because I had that um, lean bean supplement. Because normally when I fast, I find it really, really difficult. But when I started taking the lean bean, it was actually really easy for me to fast the six, 16 hours when normally I would struggle so badly. So while it is really hard to figure out if the supplement helped her to burn more fat and you know, it's always hard to account for the placebo effect. Nonetheless, in this instance, it does appear that lean bean was pretty instrumental in margarita's weight loss. And she did also say that this uh, helped to keep her energy levels more consistent during that fasting period, which she normally found really difficult to do. She also added that a potential side effect of this product is that it does make you a bit more thirsty. And as I mentioned earlier, glucomannan, that uh, you know, filling gel-like fiber that you get in this product, it does indeed increase your, your need to drink water just to help it move through your system. The good news though is that it does seem to increase your thirst as opposed to making you have to remember to drink more water, 
which might be a bit trickier. In other words, when you're taking this, the thirst could potentially help to keep uh, the glucomannan in check without you needing to remind yourself to drink more water. Now, when I spoke to Margarita, I asked her that whether or not she has a lot of people asking her if they should just take a fat burner to lose more weight. I think she had a pretty good way of framing it. When someone asks you a question like that, you have to reframe it for them. You can't just take a, like a fat burning supplement and expect to lose weight when you're still having like 10 Snickers a day and like lounging on the couch all day. It doesn't work like that. I knew that I needed to do the exercise. I needed to work on the nutrition. And the final thing was I needed to find a fat burner that was safe for me, the safest one on the market. And for me, that was lean bean. Which I think is a very smart answer. So how much is one of these little boxes gonna cost you? Well, the price can vary depending on where and when you buy it, but generally speaking, you're looking at between 50 and $70 for one of these little bottles. In this, you're going to get 30 servings, so it comes to roughly $2 per day. You know, So that's just very roughly speaking. You can get a bit of a discount if you order three bottles or more. They drop the price down a little bit. When comparing to other fat burners, it's actually really difficult to do in this industry just because there is a huge variety in the ingredients used used in different fat burners and the uh, amounts that they use in their products. So when you compare this to the top selling fat burners, it's a little bit pricey. Those are typically more like a dollar a day, but those usually don't have ingredients like glucomannan and they focus a bit more on cayenne pepper and stimulants. So that is worth taking into account when comparing prices here. All right, so why should you pick up a tub of lean bean? First of all, it is vegetarian friendly, although it is in capsules, it's not actually made from gelatin, so that's really positive for a lot of people out there. Another thing is that these are sort of all natural ingredients. I mean, that's a big selling point for the product. The raspberry ketones, I believe, are made synthetically, but generally speaking, they're very kind of natural ingredients. There aren't like too many weird chemicals in there or anything like that. You just have to take one pill at a time, which is nice. You don't have to take like fistfuls, which is common with a lot of other fat burners out there. So that's pretty useful. There is black pepper extract in this as well. I did not mention that earlier, but black pepper extract Bioparine is what it's also called, that could help you to absorb all the nutrients in there, and particularly because there is some turmeric in here, which is pretty much always paired with black pepper extract. It's just good to know that there's an extra ingredient in there to help facilitate the absorption and help facilitate the uptake of nutrients. That can be a pretty important part of weight loss and just of taking any pill. Finally, uh, this does have a pretty solid amount of evidence suggesting that it could suppress your appetite. There are some other effects I'm not quite so confident in, but there really is really solid evidence behind these as appetite suppressants, particularly the glucomannan and in any case there's a money back guarantee which is another big pro so you don't have a ton to risk here now there are a few potential cons with this product uh, the first it does appear to increase thirst in some people which you might find a bit bothersome uh, there's no calorie information on this which is a little bit surprising so if you're really rigorously tracking your calorie intake there's probably no calories in this but i don't really know so you know that's another thing i would have liked a bit more information about uh, on top of that it's a little bit pricey relative to other fat burners as i mentioned it's just really hard to compare fat burners across the industry but by and large against other top sellers it's a little bit on the pricier side. And some of the dosages I'm not super, super confident with. Like with uh, the raspberry ketones, for instance, as I mentioned earlier, in the rodent studies that use raspberry ketones and see a positive effect, they're using hundreds of times more than what you'll find in this. So that is uh, worth emphasizing. And in general, I wasn't completely sold on the fat burning aspect of this product. Nonetheless, I am pretty confident that it is a decent appetite suppressant, at least judging by the evidence that I've seen. All right, those are my thoughts on Lean Bean, the female fat burner that I'm sure any guy could also take and it would be just fine. If you wanna check out the full review and the guide to the best fat burners on the market, just make sure you Google Barben plus best fat burners.